Hey folks, welcome back. So in the last video, we talked about uh, how we can use uh, query parameters and path parameters with Fast API. So in this video, we talk about Pydantic. So we will be using Pydantic with Fast API for the data validation. So let's say if we have a uh, API endpoint, so we want to uh, save the data into the database. But before that, we want to validate that data. So whenever a request is received. So by using Pydantic, we can do that. So Pydantic uses um, type val uh, type annotations, Python type annotations uh, to validate the data. So let's say if we provide int, then it will uh, validate uh, for int. If we do not provide the integer, then it will throw the error. And then similarly, if we, uh, if, uh, we are uh, um, mentioning the type as um, date, then uh, um, Pydantic will uh, expect a date. If we uh, provide uh, any other data, then it will uh, throw the error. So let's get started with the Pydantic. Let me go back to VS Code. And uh, let's install the um, Pydantic with pip pip install Pydantic. So now we install the Pydantic. So let's uh, get started with the code. So um, let's import required classes from Pydantic import base model and validation error. Let's get a simple user model base model and then first name string last name string so base model is a um, base class for all pydantic models and uh, validation error is an exception um, so if the data is invalid the pydantic model will throw this uh, exception let's uh, try that try object equals to user model of data and then print object dot dict accept validation error as e and then print e dot errors save that oh yeah we need to specify the data right data equals to first name let's say ng and last name um okay and then they save that and let's uh, execute this so as we are passing uh, first name and last name it should work let's execute it python main.py come on Yeah, so we can see the uh, data state. So let's try not to pass the uh, last name. Then it should uh, execute uh, this statement because uh, Pydantic model should throw an error. Let's run it. And here we go. We can see that uh, for last name, the field is required. And uh, we can see that um, it is uh, we, we have three keys location uh, message and then type so message is a field required and location is a field and uh, type is a error uh, missing let's clear it so um, here we can use uh, the other uh, method as well so that is json currently we are uh, converting the object to dict but uh, we can also use the JSON method, which will give the uh, string. Let's convert this to JSON and uh, print the type as well. Type of object dot JSON and uh, let's run it and see. So we can see that uh, it's a string. If we uh, convert this to dict. let's run it so we can see the uh, data type as dict 
द सेम गोज फॉर दी एड्रेस एज वेल कॉपी दिस so let's run it here we can see that uh, the data is a list so if we change address method to json and run it so here we can see that we got the um, json string and the its type is a uh, string so that's how we use the uh, methods json and dict and errors so if we want to uh, validate a uh, first name let's say i want to add a constraint on a first name i uh, only uh, accept the first name which is less than 20 characters of length so how do i do that so for that i need to uh, use custom uh, validators so before uh, using the custom validators let's talk about the uh, python um, constraint types so we have a uh, con str as a uh, pydantic constraint type so which will uh, do a, a validation and uh, return the error so instead of str we need to use con str and um, pass the parameter so if we see the uh, um, arguments for this um we have a minimum length the maximum length and uh, quartile length the jax so for now let's go with the maximum length maximum length max length equals to 20 characters let's say 10 characters and uh, let's change this to this is awesome let's try uh, to execute it so we can see the error for first name and show this value as at most 10 characters because we did set for uh, uh, max length to 10 so that's the reason we got this error so similarly uh, similar to con str we also have different types of uh, constraint uh, types uh, which are uh, provided by pydantic um, let's look at them let's go back to browser so these are the uh, different constraint types provided by uh, pydantic negative float negative int positive float positive int so if we want to have negative float as a value and then uh, we can use this constraint and if we want negative int as a value then we can use this constraint similarly uh, for all these positive float positive int non-negative float non-negative int non-positive float and all these so we can see how we can uh, use this in this uh, simple model so here we can see for uh, con bytes so two lower so if we want to convert the data to lower case then we can simply use this uh, two lower and we can also specify minimum length and maximum length and for con str we can see two lower uh, is true then uh, the data will be converted to lower case and then uh, if we have minimum length and maximum length we can provide that and we can also use a regex to match the provided uh, data is matching with the regular expression or not so similarly we can um, uh, use con int con uh, positive in negative in something like this yeah, you can uh, check this in uh, official documentation let's go back to vs code so um, we can use um, default python types and uh, pydantic constraint types as well for the fields let's talk about the uh, custom validation so let me change the um, pydantic model a bit email let's say we are trying to uh, register a user email string and uh, password string 
and confirm password which is also string let me add data for the password secret same thing for uh, confirm password so now i want to have a custom validator for email and uh, i only want to accept the email which is ending with uh, google.com so let's uh, implement that so to do that we need to uh, use uh, two decorators which is a validator and uh, the other one is root validator let's talk about the validator first um, validator which takes a parameter email so this should be uh, the field name Def validate google email it can be anything first parameter is class and then value and we need to return the validated value so now i want to let's print the value first now i want to check whether the uh, given uh, value is ending with uh, google.com or not if not i need to throw the uh, value error so if not value value dot ends with google.com and then raise value error which says only accepts google.com domain emails let's um, so here we are passing the uh, ng at local host.com so it should throw this error when we validate let's try that let me remove this change this back to json let's clear and let's create john may not be by so here we can see that the uh, only accepts google.com domain email error so that's how we implement the um, custom errors uh, at field level so we implemented it for only email let's say i want to validate whether the password is equals to confirm password or not so for that i will need to uh, use root validator let's implement that so it takes three uh, as a keyword argument if it is uh, let's set it to false for now if validate passwords class and then values and return values before that let's print it Okay. so now let's validate that so values is a dictionary and we need to check uh, the password is equals to confirm password or not so if um, values dot get password is not equals to values dot get confirm password then we need to 
phrase value error that um, passwords did not match okay let's um, run it let's change the uh, confirm command let's run it so here we can see that um, password did not match so we are using both the uh, password and confirm password values and uh, we are uh, checking the condition and we can also see that the field level validation uh, is executing first and then the uh, uh, multiple fields level validation which is a root validator the second let's say if we uh, set this to true and then before checking the uh, type let's say if it is uh, trying to check for a string right before uh, doing the string validation it will uh, try to run this code let me change this to um, Hint. Uh, okay, let's add uh, one more field um, amount. Let's uh, set it to int and then let's try to set it to true and uh, it. let's remove this and let's try to check the use dot get amount equals to and then amount let's um, So here we can see that uh, it's a class because before validating the um, amount uh, we are uh, trying to uh, run this. So that's the reason uh, we got only one error message that is this. If we um, change pre to pass and then it will validate this uh, error first and then it will validate this let's try to check that so here we can see that password didn't match and then field is required and then it only accepts google.com emails so this is how we use a root validator and validator to implement a custom validations.